Jacob Blake was shot in the back seven times. This is familiar violence. You must see the trauma, fear, and exhaustion of being black in our state. This movement has touched every corner of Wisconsin. Join me in praying for Jacob Blake. Join me in fighting to make sure that this does not ever happen again. Thanks for watching News 3 Now Live at 4. We have team coverage this afternoon as the aftermath continues following the shooting of a black man in Kenosha. Jacob Blake was shot seven times by police while trying to get into a vehicle yesterday evening. Our Gabriella Becerra is in Kenosha today where Governor Evers has called up the National Guard to respond. Jamie Perez is in downtown Madison where protests are expected this evening and overnight. But first, let's start with Charlotte Deleste who joins us from the studio with how Governor Tony Evers and Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes are responding. Charlotte. Mark and Susan, this afternoon, Governor Evers is calling the legislature into a special session tackling policing accountability and transparency following yesterday's shooting. Both the governor and Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes want lawmakers to take up a package of criminal justice reforms they announced following George Floyd's death. So I sincerely hope for the people all across Wisconsin that we see some leadership from our legislature in the coming days. As I said before, doing nothing is not an option. This is not something that you can just sit on your hands or bury your head in the sand in. To everybody that is as tired as I am, know that I stand with you in this fight for a better world. Justice. Republicans currently control the state legislature and Assembly Speaker Robin Voss said today that he is forming a task force focusing on racial disparities, education opportunities, public safety and police policies and standards. Voss goes on to say this is not a time for political posturing or to suggest defunding law enforcement. When a community is hurting, the most important thing that we can do is listen. The special session is scheduled for August 31st at noon. In the meantime, all eyes are on Kenosha where this shooting happened. Gabriella Becerra is there with the latest developments. Gabby. Charlotte, this park is where the Kenosha mayor had intended to update us this afternoon, but the city ended up moving that press conference inside. Protesters had surrounded the area and the mayor said he was worried about everybody's safety. So we ended up inside the public safety building and protesters tried to follow, but police refused to let them in. They eventually broke down the door and the press conference had moved to the back of the building. That's where we heard from Kenosha Mayor Attorney General Josh Call and several community members. The Department of Justice Justice is investigating last night's shooting and Attorney General Josh Call says he's going to do everything to make sure they reach a fair outcome. And our role is to be an independent investigating agency. Uh, we are a statewide law enforcement agency uh, and our goal is very simple. We are going to vigorously and fully investigate the facts of this case. Can, uh, protesters have been hanging around the Kenosha County Courthouse all afternoon, but the mayor says there will be a curfew tonight. Mark and Susan. Gabriella and Charlotte, thank you. This incident is receiving national attention. Democratic nominee for President Joe Biden released a statement saying in part the nation wakes up yet again with grief and outrage. This calls for an immediate full and transparent investigation and the officers must be held accountable. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson is calling for a full and thorough investigation. He tweeted while emotions are understandably running high in the the Kenosha community and elsewhere. I urge any demonstrators to remain peaceful and give our justice system the opportunity to work. The shooting sparked outrage in Madison. Several businesses along State Street were damaged early this morning. Several storefronts were damaged and glass was shattered. People here in Madison are continuing to use their voices to call for change. Dozens met at the top of State Street today saying last night's shooting proves the battle is far from over. Our Jamie Perez was there today to tell us more about what they want to see. Jamie? Well, what happened here today was originally supposed to be a call on the city and UW to end racism and oppression. But following the shooting that happened last night in Kenosha, this is just another example of what they say 
why they say change needs to happen right now. Now, this started at the top of State Street. They marched their way down State Street where dozens of people were holding signs and getting up to speak about the demands they have for the city. And then it switched again to that march down State Street where they were chanting in solidarity the names of black people who have died as a result of an excessive use of force by police. Now, they called out to the city saying that when you're called to action, you move. And they have not seen enough movement yet. But coming up tonight at 5, we'll listen into some of the demands that they're asking from our city leaders. We will see at five. Jamie Perez reporting live. Jamie, thank you. And we're expecting more developments in this case and more demonstrations tonight. Stick with News 3 now and Channel 3000. Our crews will be following those crowds in Madison and we will report the latest from Kenosha as well all night long. Let's switch to weather now. Hot and humid are the weather words for the day. Actually, the heat stays on are the real weather words and Dana is in the backyard. Find someplace cool for the next few days. That's the goal. Right now I'm standing in the shade trying to stay a little cool. Not much of a breeze back here on the patio, but it is a, a very warm afternoon. If you're a fan of the summery weather, it is certainly going to stick around. Here's a live look with our Edgewater sky cam of downtown. We do have a little more cloud coverage building in, but temperatures are still in the upper 80s with dew points in the upper 80s, so it feels very soupy outside, very hot and humid. Our storms are all well to the north, but we do still have the chance to see an isolated shower or thunderstorm pass through later this evening as we do have a slight risk for severe weather stretching from the Twin Cities through Milwaukee this evening and tonight. Some of those thunderstorms could bring some brief, very heavy rainfall and some strong wind gusts. We have alert days in the forecast on top of those storm chances because of the heat and humidity. Heat index ratings for tomorrow, Wednesday and for Thursday will be in the mid to upper 90s. The storm chances building in tonight. Aside from the storms, though, a lot of sunshine over the next few days. As far as the roads are concerned right now, thankfully we're not not seeing any delays as we look around Rock County, the downtown Janesville area uh, does look pretty smooth for this evening. From Janesville to the Beltline, it will take you 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Sauk City to Middleton and some prairie to downtown about nine minutes this evening. We'll take a closer look at those storm chances in just a few minutes. All right, we'll check back then. Thank you, Dana. Republicans kicked off their national convention in Charlotte, North Carolina and Washington, D.C. this morning. Like the Democrats last week, the GOP has revamped the convention to keep people safe during the coronavirus pandemic. A uh, of 336 delegates are allowed on site with the vast majority participating virtually. Each convention attendee was told to acquire a negative COVID test before coming to Charlotte and each attendee receives a test from one of the community health partners upon arrival in Charlotte. The convention heats up tonight with speeches from party leaders and some in the Trump family. Our Amy Reid is live with us to catch us up on what's happened so far today and what we can expect tonight. Amy? Well, already today we've seen the delegates from all states pledge to Vice President Pence and President Trump officially nominating them for another term. The convention got started this morning and Trump spoke about how important this election is, also repeating some false claims he made last week when he was in Wisconsin. That won't be the last of him, though. According to him and the party, he's expected to make some kind of address every night, even if it can't look like it did here in 2016, including Thursday, he'll formally accept the nomination. Today, during the state roll call for those delegates, Wisconsin State GOP chair talked about the history of abolition here and other staples of the state. The dairy state of Wisconsin, where our world famous cheese curds will be served at the celebration when we deliver our 10 electoral votes for President Donald J. Trump to put him back in the White House. Here's a look at the speakers we can expect tonight. Former ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley, South Carolina Representative Tim Scott, Republican Whip Steve Scalise, and Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr. The convention starts at 7.30 our time, a half hour earlier than the Democrats. Primetime coverage of the convention starts at 9 o'clock here on CBS, and I'll bring you the highlights tonight at 10. Amy, thank you. Amy will provide full coverage of the convention this week. Watch for her stories on News 3 Now and online at channel3000.com. To our coronavirus headlines now, nearly a month into Wisconsin's mask mandate, the state continues to see smaller numbers of new cases. More than 400 people have tested positive within the last day. Over the weekend, the number of Wisconsinites who've tested positive for the virus surpassed 70,000. There is some progress to report in the fight against COVID-19. Despite being a hot spot, Florida is opening up to some sports fans. Miami's Hard Rock Stadium will welcome as many as 13,000 fans for the Dolphins home opener against the Buffalo Bills next month. Masks are required 
and one popular pastime is prohibited. We could do everything right in the stadium, but people will congregate in the, in the parking lots. So uh, we're eliminating tailgating. South Florida remains a COVID hotspot, but the number of people hospitalized is down 50% over the month. And this comes as the Food and Drug Administration authorized emergency use of convalescent plasma, which comes from the blood of people who recovered from COVID-19. All right, we're having some teleprompter problems as usual around here. Still to come at four, many schools, as you know, are going virtual this coming year. When we, when we come back, what if you don't have access to broadband internet? It's a serious problem. Arlia Linscheid will talk with a small town school superintendent when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final boarding call to enjoy non-stop routes to summer in a new Nissan. And don't miss the 2020 Nissan Bottom Line Sales Event. Get a low 346 per month lease on Nissan Rogue. Great decision on your new windows. Buy one, get one won't last long. Have you always been so passionate about windows? Falco's buy one, get one free windows is totally red. Falco's energy efficient windows are a must in every home. So hurry. Now. You could say that. Buy one window, get one free, and get no interest for one year. Buy one, get one free, and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feltco. Scranton is a long way from Wall Street. You won't find skyscrapers or big city bankers, just hardworking people. That's where Joe Biden's story starts. It's why he's running for president, for the backbone of this nation working families. Donald Trump, he's in it for himself and his wealthy friends. In this crisis, we need to help workers and small businesses, and we need a president who will build back better. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. services buy one air conditioner and get one gas furnace for only one thousand dollars bogos are back and it's a beautiful thing sometimes you can't get to the store to get the items you need but that doesn't mean you have to go without eye care offers complete health coverage members receive up to fourteen hundred forty dollars in over-the-counter items delivered right to their door for free our catalog includes hundreds of products such as over-the-counter medications vitamins and first aid supplies there's also flexibility to use these benefits in store using an eye care benefit card rest easy eye care is looking out for your health needs I like to drive. I used to think I was a pretty good driver. But now, Joe Biden's taken a sharp left turn. Buckle up for his $4 trillion tax hike. Biden's plan raises taxes on small business, reversing the recovery. He's pledged to eliminate blue-collar oil and gas jobs. And analysts estimate stocks would crash up to 25% if Biden takes the wheel, crushing your retirement. This is just bold. Hit the brakes on Biden. He'll wreck our economy. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final boarding call to enjoy non-stop routes to summer in a new Nissan. And don't miss the 2020 Nissan Bottom Line Sales Event. Get a low 273 per month lease on Nissan Sentra. Welcome back, everyone. TikTok is suing Trump. The president is trying to ban the Chinese-owned app from the U.S., a move the company calls highly politicized. So they're suing the Trump administration. In today's announcement, TikTok said it's arguing in California federal court that the administration didn't give the company a fair chance to defend itself from allegations that it poses a national security risk. The executive order gives TikTok until September 20th to address 
address concerns that the app could, quote, allow the Chinese Communist Party access to Americans' personal and proprietary information. Well, face masks, as we all know, are the necessary <laughs> accessory of the summer. And some people are wearing them with style. Face mask fashion has turned this San Antonio car salesman into an unlikely style inspiration. Steve Montgomery went viral after matching his ties and face masks, which his girlfriend sews from pocket squares. I've got over 107 ties, but mask I'm still working on. I think we've got like up to 20 now. So I have not wore the same mask since I started this. And how long ago was that? Uh, three weeks ago, I believe. Great idea. Big brands are offering their own fashion for face masks, including designer Tory Burch. David's Bridal has a line of masks devoted to brides and grooms. And then there's this, an Israeli company calls it the most expensive face mask in the world with 3,600 diamonds valued at $1.5 million. Face mask accessories are also popular. Samantha Katz sells chains that hold masks when people take them off. Katz says the designs help people express themselves even while covering their face. All good ideas. Like those glasses ones, you know? Yeah, right. So you can have your glasses and your mask. And the approval of a new coronavirus treatment sent stocks higher. The Dow Industrials gained 378 points, closing above 28,000 for the first time since February. The Nasdaq gained 67. The S&P 500 added 34. Internet access is now a lifeline for families working and learning from home, but for many parents with low incomes, they're anticipating digital obstacles this semester. The Pew Research Center finds one in five parents with kids learning virtually say it is very or somewhat likely that their kids won't be able to do schoolwork because they don't have access to computers or a reliable internet connection. For low-income parents, this doubles. Overall, about three in ten say it's at least somewhat likely that their kids will have to do schoolwork on a cell phone. Families who live in urban and rural areas are more likely than suburban parents to worry about these issues. But a lack of access to broadband is one of the reasons why many rural schools will head back to class this fall. News 3 Now this morning's Leah Linscheid went to her hometown of Highland to highlight how small schools are handling the start of the school year and how they're preparing for a potential outbreak. Josh Farrell, principal of Highland School District. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Um, let's begin by talking a little bit about how you folks came to the decision to bring students back to class this fall. So what we did in uh, probably the early summer there, late spring, was that we surveyed all our parents and we gave them different options of what they felt was best for their children. So we came to the conclusion it was a, a pretty vast majority of parents over around 60% K through 12 wanted kids back in the building. So that was a pretty, in my opinion, easy decision for us as far as our school board to come up with and see what, what, a, what our parents wanted to do and what we wanted to do with our kids. So, so should there be an outbreak, uh, what kind of a plan do you guys have in place to deal with that and how is that different? We are 300 students K through 12, so we are one of the smallest schools in the state. So if we had an outbreak where we had to get everyone virtually, uh, we have a plan together where we can take one day. So we'll let kids out when we know, let the kids know, and then give us a day, and we can get all our technology out to our students, and, and we can get it done in a day. So, wow. yeah, so we're, we're pretty fortunate that way. Yeah, what are some of the measures you guys are taking within the school? Six feet apart, obviously, now the masks. And everyone has a mask on, teachers, uh, all staff, all students will have masks. Uh, we're able to space them out in our lunchroom. Um, we're able to, we switched to a black schedule, we didn't have a black schedule before, so uh, our middle and our high school have half the classes per day that they did last year. So obviously that lunch or, or that uh, passing time will be half as often. Um, we're having kids staggered when they go to their locker room, so what we're doing is an even odd. So if you have an even locker, you go to your locker at this time. If you have an odd numbered locker, you go to your locker. So, um, and then, you know, how we rotate in the hallway. So once you go to your locker, you're on the inside of the hallway, and once you get your stuff, you know, so keep people as distant as we can as we move, and, and uh, you know, we change up our water fountains, so the water fountains will only be bottle fillers, so they can't, you know, use the bubblers. You know, just, uh, just anything to keep kids where they're not, you know, in one spot for too long. So, Josh Darrell, thanks so much. Thank you, appreciate it. And thank you, Liam. Thanks, Liam. A lot of good information. Well, now it's the Republicans' turn. Their national convention started today in Charlotte, North Carolina. We'll have a preview of the coming week from Madison College's Maurice Shepard. That's coming up after Dana's first-worn forecast. 
With Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, you can earn a degree in today's hottest fields online. For a limited time, we'll waive your enrollment fee. See what your career can turn into. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. <sighs> bad sleep. Oh, the worst. You know, there's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or to celebrate our newest arrival, come in and test out the outrageously comfortable Casper mattress. Check out the Summit Queen, only $189.99. Plus five years, no interest, and free shipping. The Labor Day sale, on now at Denver Mattress. The Ford Summer Sales Event is here with great offers on a huge selection, like 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. And get peace of mind with the Ford Promise. It's summer, so grab the family and head out. It's easier now during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months, plus the peace of mind of the Ford Promise. See your local Ford dealer today. To fix the economy, we have to get control over the virus. I'm releasing a plan to save lives in the months ahead. We need to increase federal support for testing, doubling the number of drive-through testing sites. We absolutely need a clear message from the very top of our federal government that everyone needs to wear a mask in public. Every single frontline worker should have the personal protective equipment that they need to be safe. We need to support schools and child care programs so parents, if and when they can return to work, are confident that their children will be safe and cared for. And finally, we need to protect the populations most at risk, our seniors, vulnerable populations with pre-existing conditions. We need real plans, real guidelines, with uniform nationwide standards. It's a simple proposition, folks. We're all in this together. we got to fight this together. We'll emerge from this stronger because we did it together. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Do you know with Spectrum Mobile you can talk and text as much as you want for free? I can afford that. There are no surprise taxes or fees. Even better. And plans start at $14 a month. $14? I spend $14 on this cup of coffee. That's a lot for a cup of coffee. Oh, well, it's got six shots of espresso, so... <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I'm a go-getter. I got big plans for this place. I'm going to repaint something softer. It's too bright. I'm going to re-varnish this table. You want some sandwiches? I'm going to make you some sandwiches. With plans from $14 a month and no surprise taxes or fees. Get Spectrum Mobile. I'm making sandwiches and I'm sweeping. To the thousands of Herzing University nursing and healthcare alumni, for your tireless commitment, and to all of your brave colleagues across America, we say thank you. I'm possible at Herzing. Well, take a look at this. All right, folks, it's time to cut the grass. <laughs> this man who calls himself Ginger Billy has created a one-of-a-kind contraption. He combines a motorcycle with a mower to make his own version of a riding lawnmower. Billy claims this is the fastest and baddest lawnmower in the world. Now, instead of cutting the grass, it's gone from a chore to fun. <laughs> I don't know how much grass he's actually getting cut, is he? Take Ginger's word for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my that gosh. Fun. <laughs> I can see Dana doing this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. This totally. is my brother. This is absolutely <laughs> what little Fulton looks like. That is absolutely what my brother would do. So you yes. know what we're talking about. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Believe I'm on the same page as Susan, though. I don't think it's actually cutting any grass. <laughs> and around here, you don't need to cut the grass. You it's don't. pretty much all dormant. It's a little it's a little brown. It's a little crusty. It's a little dry right now. A little bit of rain would be a good thing. And unfortunately, there really don't have many rain opportunities in that 10-day forecast. There is a chance for showers developing overnight. Though much of the area will stay dry. We'll look at your full 10-day right after the break. A WISC-TV editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. I have not quite 20 editorials yet to present to you before I retire. And while there are important issues we'll need to address in the next three weeks, I do want to highlight some of the extraordinary assets this editorial board has supported over the years. And one of the most important has been Central Hispano. The news peg is the recent award of more than $150,000 Centro received from Unidos U.S., the nation's largest Latino civil rights and advocacy organization. 
The funds will support some of Centro's most successful and invaluable education initiatives, an area where Centro just shines. But Centro Hispano is so much more. Over the years, Centro has grown to be a vital part of the civic fabric of Dane County, supporting families, sharing the rich Latinx cultures, and contributing to the regional economy. Executive Director Karen Mendendez Collar and her talented and committed staff and volunteers have built Centro into an organization integral to who we are as a community. And as the award signifies, it will only grow in impact in the years to come. Our seniors that are being hit the hardest, they're frightened. And I want them to know that their health and safety will be my responsibility if I'm your president. And I'll have from day one, ready to go, the best medical experts and scientists to advise on our response. And I will not abandon you. It's a simple proposition, folks. We're all in this together. we got to fight this together. We'll emerge from this stronger because we did it together. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Here, I don't look 61 in three weeks. Um, I have no wrinkles, no bags, and this is only because of Plexiderm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Who am I? I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Plexiderm is a wonderful product. I look at least 10 years younger. <laughs> it's a facelift in a jar. The people you're watching have just seen themselves in the mirror for the first time since we applied Plexiderm to their problem areas. Their reactions are real, and so are the results from using Plexiderm. What's even more amazing is that it takes less than 10 minutes. Now you can watch your under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet visibly disappear for just $14.95 by going to PlexidermTrial.com and taking the Plexiderm 10-minute challenge. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. And yet, when you look in the mirror, what you see necessarily isn't what you feel inside. Plexiderm, seriously, it fixes all that. It makes you feel as good outside as you do inside. Honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. This is really good. This is, um, I'm going to fill my bathtub with this stuff and get the whole body this time. <laughs> All these lines are gone. I feel like a new woman. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shale clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. At our $14.95 price, it's the best time to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself. So if under eye bags make you look tired and older, take the Plexiderm 10 minute challenge today for only $14.95. Just go to PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. A pair of tropical <laughs> storms. Hello, <laughs> Laura and Marco Busted. are threatening parts of the United States with warnings of wind and coastal flooding from Texas to Alabama. A nightmarish scene actually in Haiti in the wake of tropical storm Laura. Rushing water and trash filled the streets. The bodies of victims laid along the side of the road. The storm claimed at least 11 lives in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And flooding, as you can see there, is all over the place. Now the threat of two storms within days of each other in Louisiana. Marco whipping up waves just as Laura plows closer and gains strength with winds that by Wednesday Wednesday could top 110 miles an hour. We're only going to dodge the bullet so many times, um, and the, the current forecast for, for Laura uh, ha has it uh, focused intently on Louisiana. Parts of Louisiana are under mandatory evacuation. Dana's got an eye on all this. She's over in the Weather Center. Keep an eye on the tropics. They're getting all of the water. And uh, we really aren't right now. Things are a little dry for us. As we look into the Gulf, we do see Tropical Storm Marco right now just off the coast of Louisiana. That system is going to continue to move west uh, a little further off to the east. 
tropical storm Laura is going to continue to gain strength once it really gets over that warm Gulf water and gets away from the land a little bit, likely strengthening to a Category 1, then a Category 2 hurricane before making landfall in the same area that's currently dealing with tropical storm Marco. So right now, both storms just considered tropical storms. Uh, there's no situation where these storms are going to merge when it comes to tropical systems. If they get too close to each other, one of them will grow and take the energy out of the atmosphere while the other one starves and weakens. So it's a kind of a, a, a balance where one will grow and the other will shrink. So as Laura grows bigger and continues to move northwest, it's taken away a lot of that energy uh, from tropical storm Marco as it continues to move west as well. For us, very dry outside, warm this afternoon in front of a cold front that's to the north. And that front, unfortunately, isn't sinking south much. It'll drop a little bit and then dangle over us as a stationary front. So we are going to stay warm and stay overall pretty dry. Some folks might see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms tonight. We are going to keep a close eye on the radar once we get really after midnight, though most of those storms are going to stay east of Dane County. This is a look about four or five o'clock in the morning. Again, storms trending towards the Milwaukee area. We could see a few isolated showers swing through Dane County, but most of it is going to stay northeast. For Tuesday afternoon, we'll have partly sunny skies, high temperatures close to 90 with heat index readings in the middle to upper 90s. We'll stay clear heading into Wednesday and for Wednesday, another sunny, hot and humid afternoon, high temperatures close to 90 degrees with those heat index readings climbing well into the 90s. Rainfall totals, as you can see by Tuesday morning, really favored towards the Fond du Lac area and up towards Manitowoc. They'll see rainfall totals over an inch. Uh, we're just likely not going to pick up a lot of rain right now and we really could use it. Starting to see more of that drought status creep into Wisconsin. Abnormally dry now, stretching into parts of Richland and Crawford counties. So it's a, a little dry, a little warm, a little humid, a lot of that rain staying south. We have alert days in the forecast for tonight because of the chance for some strong thunderstorms to pass through and for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday because it's going to stay hot and humid outside. So if you are spending any extra periods of time outside, a lot of water to stay hydrated and sunscreen. Highs will be close to 90 degrees. That's the trend for the next several days. Heat index readings in the middle to upper 90s. We drop back a bit on Friday with a chance for showers and thunderstorms developing in the low 80s for afternoon highs. And by the weekend, we'll finally be back closer to average with high temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. That's a quick look at your very uh, hot and steamy forecast. It's steamy indeed. All right, Dana, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Fire crews in Northern California are making some progress battling three sets of massive wildfires. Thousands remain under evacuation orders and at least six people have died. Fire crews got some help from the weather as they work to contain wildfires in Northern California. Humidity is rising and the area did not see the return of lightning storms that sparked fires last week. Still, the going is rough. Very steep, extremely rugged terrain, lots of ravines and canyons, very difficult for us to work in. One of the fires has claimed 2,500-year-old redwood trees in Big Basin Redwoods State Park. On top of the fires and pandemic, police say they're now dealing with looters in evacuated neighborhoods. So far, they've arrested 13 people. Well, today is the first day of the Republican National Convention. The event is partially online and partially in Charlotte, North Carolina. Like we did at the beginning of last week's Democratic National Convention, we're talking once again with Madison College Political Science Chair Maurice Shepard about what to expect this week. But first, we asked him if the Democrats accomplished what they wanted to do. Uh, I think they did. Uh, it was a new experience having an all virtual uh, presidential uh, nomination convention. Uh, but there were some, again, highlights in terms of clear speeches uh, showing, once again, the diversity of the party. There's some criticism of the Democrat of the DNC because uh, some would argue that they didn't really provide clear uh, direction in terms of policy or details in terms of their policy platform. So overall, it seemed to be a win, but there's still some criticism. Yeah, and following up on that, the tone of the DNC was one of unity and empathy, positivity. And as you said, they received some criticism because it was high on emotion and low on policy. So what do you expect the tone of the RNC to be? Uh, well, looking at their agenda, which is very fluid at this point, um, uh, the word is that they want to be more positive. Um, a different, uh, compared to 2016, uh, for then, once again, the nominee Trump, 
uh, at that convention, they could be very prospective in that uh, President Trump did not have a record in government for anyone to look at and evaluate. This is different. In 2020, um, now uh, he has a record four years in office, and it has to be a combination not only of being prospective, what will we do in the next four years, but then also uh, what have we done in frame these last, once again, three and a half years in a more positive way, again, in terms of retrospective. So um, I think it will be a mix, but the overall strategy seems to be try to be positive. And their platform, they're not even voting on a new one. They're just going to use the one from 2016. Is that surprising? Uh, that's, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a new one. Um, oh, again, a number of arguments for the, for the RNC, they make the argument that uh, nothing would really change. Um, so why go through, again, sort of the, the, the additional work of really coming up with a new policy platform? And, and actually, in, in a number of interviews that President Trump has had in the past few days, he's made it clear that he's going to stick to the same game plan. I think what will be new or what we will see in higher levels of intensity will be his attacks on China. Um, again, the, the, the reusing of the previous platform, uh, a number of the same points will be made, but I think you'll see an uptick in terms of President Trump and the RNC's attack on China, and particularly China as it relates to technology. Do these conventions, we talk about this every time we see you, do these conventions matter? Do they move the needle? Do they change anybody's mind? And does anybody in the age of COVID and the pandemic and a digital, a virtual convention get a bump out of this? Well, traditionally, the conventions are really for um, you know, sort of the hardcore base of your party. Um, and those, and then there will be those that will look in with interest to see what's going on. I, I, I think it's a mix. It can once again solidify your base, but it can also open the door for those, depending on the type of convention that you want to run, it can open the door to once again, maybe um, have uh, someone, a moderate, maybe vote with you. So for example, I think for the DNC, their target audience really was sort of mod the moderate voter, the moderate conservative, someone who might flip and vote uh, Democratic. For the RNC, it's the opposite. They're, fo they're hunkering down on their base. So um, it really depends on the actual uh, party, uh, their agenda, and what they see is necessary to win the next election. Is just catering to the base enough to win the election? Yes, <laughs> because it, it happened in 2016. If if combined with the strategy of demobilization on the other side. So for example, um, for the Republicans in 2016, they not only, once again, focus really hard on their base, but they were also able to, um, with additional help, they were also able to demobilize some segments of the Democratic voting base that did not show up in large uh, sufficient numbers. And that allowed uh, President Trump to win in the Electoral College states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and Michigan. Well, 71 days till election day. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That's All right. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for being with us again. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Maurice, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Interesting as always. Yeah. There's more to come at four later on. Will Loper will share his picks to stream this week. And then coming up tonight at five, we'll have continuing coverage of the events in Kenosha this afternoon, as well as protests here in Madison. Stay with News 3 now. That's coming up tonight at five. I want to have a million dollars when I retire. Oh, great goal. So where do I start? Well, first you set up automatic transfers into savings. That can add up pretty quickly. For me, working on putting $1,000 into an emergency fund got me in a good saving habit. Already on it. Then put together a plan to get rid of debt and maximize your investments. You know, Summit helped me do it. Oh, that's great. I love how Summit gives people the knowledge and confidence to go after their goals. It's your money. Own it. Summit Credit Union. The Ford Summer Sales Event is here with great offers on a huge selection, like 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. And get peace of mind with the Ford Promise. It's summer, so grab the family and head out. It's easier now during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months, plus the peace of mind of the Ford Promise. See your local Ford dealer today. 
asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet. Delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on-demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go, all from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. Gar Ver. Garver. Gather. King. Gathering. Garver. Gathering. Garf. Her. King. Garvering. Garvering. A socially responsible gathering where a maximum of 250 people enjoy thirst-quenching drinks, delicious food, and the arts in a safe, clean, and touchless outdoor environment. Let's, Let's go, go Garvering. Garvering. Visit thegarverfeedmail.com for dates and details starting June 11th. Brought to you by News 3 Now, Madison Magazine, and the Garver Feed Mill. Tonight at 5, Republicans have nominated President Trump as their candidate for the 2020 election. We'll have the latest from the RNC that's ahead at 5. Hot and humid weather will continue through Thursday with chances for thunderstorms overnight and Thursday afternoon. Thunderstorms Friday will break the heat by forecast at 5. And ahead at 6, protesters in Madison and Kenosha are responding to a police shooting, shooting a black man apparently in the back while responding to a domestic disturbance. day out there. That's the smoke from the fires out west. That's right. But hot and humid too. Well, parents are, have been preparing their children for what to expect this fall as many return back to their classrooms. Allergists say for kids with allergies and asthma, that adds to questions and concerns. Michael George has more on what parents need to know. Like many kids, 10-year-old Rachel Grace Wilborn is sort of looking forward to going back to school. I like seeing my friends, but I don't really like school in general. <laughs> the Wilborns had concerns because Rachel has asthma, allergies, and eczema, so they reached out to their allergist. My husband and I both had a lot of questions about that, um, and um, in the face of everything that's going on, she's also started a, a recent medication. There's not a one-size fits all answer for every child or every situation. Dr. J. Allen Meadows is president of the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. He says now more than ever, it's critical your child's allergies and asthma are under control. If your asthma or allergies are out of control, then certainly that increases the risk of going back to school. Allergists say parents should prepare kids to wear masks. While some with asthma may feel masks make breathing more difficult, a mask shouldn't impair breathing in someone with well-controlled asthma. The school nurse and teacher should have a copy of your child's allergy and asthma action plan. All medications should be up to date and know the difference between the symptoms of COVID and asthma and allergies. If you've got a fever, that's not asthma, that's not sinus, that's not allergy, that's something that's viral. The Wilborn family feels confident in their decision to send their children back to school. I don't feel like it's going to be a significant uh, risk for her as compared to to anyone else at this point um, and he felt that way because her asthma is well controlled. They're hoping for a happy, healthy school year. Michael George, CBS News. And for kids with food allergies, with many schools having kids eat lunch at their desks to avoid the cafeteria, it's a good, good idea to remind children to stick to their own food and not to share with anyone. That is good advice. Mm -hmm. Well, what to stream, what to stream? <laughs> that is the question. Film critic Will Oper has the answer when Live Before continues. Let us help you create your family's recipe for health. SSM Health and News 3 Now are making it easy by putting all the ingredients right at your fingertips. With topics like healthy habits, nutrition, and mental well-being, there's something for everyone. Visit Channel 3000's Time for Kids page for advice from SSM Health experts. 
catch fresh and informative reports on News 3 Now. Take time for kids with SSM Health and News 3 Now. When you have depression, it can plunge you into deep, dark lows and can leave you feeling extremely sad and disinterested. Overwhelmed by bipolar depression? Ask about Vralar. Not all types of depression should be treated the same. Vralar effectively helps relieve all symptoms of bipolar depression with just one pill once a day. Elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. Metabolic changes may occur. Nausea, restlessness, and movement dysfunction are common side effects. When bipolar depression overwhelms, ask how Vralar can help. Dear Summer, how do I make the most of you? Do I kick back and relax? Or climb new mountains? I could go and get dirty. Or switch into new lanes. One thing's for sure, it's going to be great. Can't wait. Toyota. Right now, you can get 1.9% financing for 60 months on a new 2020 RAV4 or RAV4 Hybrid. Toyota. This year, school is going to be full of changes. What will school be like, and how can we make sure our kids are safe? We're getting the answers you need to help you prepare. So keep an eye on News 3 Now this morning and get ready to go back to school. That was the number one thing we preached to our leaders from day one in the pandemic, flexibility. As many parents face a virtual start to the school year, see how one area company is offering support to its employees. Tuesday on News 3 Now this morning. Attention Zantac users. The FDA requested manufacturers to pull Zantac and products containing ranitidine off the market, noting exposure to unacceptable levels of a cancer-causing agent. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with cancer after regular use of Zantac or ranitidine products, you might be entitled to financial compensation. If you have any of these cancers, time is critical. Call now for a free consultation. If you don't win, you pay nothing. Call 800-868-0977. Right now, we aren't seeing any delays on the roads. In fact, as we look across southern Wisconsin, uh, things do look pretty smooth this evening. Downtown Janesville should be smooth. The interstate, no major delays. A few slowdown spots, of course, where we have a little bit of construction. From Janesville to the Beltline, about 25 minutes. Sauk City to Middleton, close to 16. And Sun Prairie to downtown in about 9 minutes this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. Dana, thank you. The Smithsonian National Zoo has a new baby panda. 22-year-old mama bear Mei Shang gave birth Friday evening. The zoo says mother and child are nursing and cuddling and that is a good sign. Caretakers say they'll retrieve the cub for an exam in a few days. Right now, the baby's about the size of a stick of butter. For now, the sex of the baby is unclear. Pandas are only able to get pregnant a few days a year, so the zoo had to artificially inseminate Mei Shang in March, despite the pandemic. That's exciting news. It's positive a, news. It's a little teeny baby out of a big yeah, animal. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a hot week, so it might be a good time to check out a new show or movie. Our film critic, Will Loper, has a look at what's new this week. Hey, American Susan. Well, movie theaters are tentatively beginning to reopen, with Russell Crowe leading the way as a road rage demand in the movie Unhinged. I don't think you really know what a bad day is. But you will find out. Unsurprisingly, the film won the box office, making $4 million, which normally would be considered low, but is considered a success in this time of pandemic. However, there are plenty of new movies and TV shows to stream at home, including a new biopic on VOD called Tesla. You shall transform the way the world works. No, no sparks. sparks. It's perfect. Where have you been hiding? Alternating current is a waste of time. Impractical and deadly. Ethan Hawke stars as the famous inventor who hopes his alternating current system of electricity will take hold, but faces an uphill battle from Thomas Edison and bigwigs like Westinghouse who are more than eager to swindle him. You want a lemonade? You work at night in a secret laboratory. You shoot lightnings from the earth to the sky. 
Hawk shines in the starring role, but Tesla is presented as a withdrawn and introverted man, and the movie, as a result, can often feel cold and emotionless. You live in your head. Doesn't everyone? If you're interested in learning more about the inventor, it's worth renting at $6.99. Otherwise, you're safe in skipping or waiting until it's on the streaming service of your choice. New on Disney Plus is the film The One and Only Ivan. Whoa, did you draw all these? A gorilla. Who draws? Sam Rockwell voices a gorilla who wants to break free from the mall circus he's being kept in. This painting is clearly a sign he wants to be free. What about Mac? He's taking care of me my whole life. We're family. We're in this together. If you need some melodramatic teen romance, check out the film Chemical Hearts on Amazon Prime. Just ask her what's going on. Are you all right? I don't know, like, how I'm supposed to help. I'm Why? messing up, Henry. I'm That's okay. Up. No, it's not when you realize you can't fix me. And for those of us feeling lonely out there, Love in the Time of Corona debuted on Hulu. What are we doing with all this time? The series, which was filmed during the pandemic and had the crew staying in their own tents and actors doing their own hair and makeup, showcases several different people and the way they find love and connection during this time. We realized that we had to cast people who were already quarantining together. We would have to shoot in the actors' homes. We would have to have them actually be crew members as well as cast members. I was directing by walkie-talkie out in a van, and I had a monitor set up. Our DP was able to remotely control the cameras. How's your quarantine going? <sighs> I heard Russell Crowe just finished binging Love in the Time of Corona and had this to say. Are you not entertained? For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper, sending it back to you, Mark and Susan. Are you not entertained? <laughs> well done, Will. <laughs> Lots to see out yes. there. All right, we'll be back with the final your forecast. Pretty role play. For years, iMart Express has provided you with quality eyewear and same-day service. With sights set on the path ahead, we continue to rally together to keep your future in focus. Get two pairs of single vision glasses for under $40 and two pairs of progressives for under $80. To learn more, visit iMartExpress.com. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200, and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan or for checkups only. This is real dental insurance insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call or go to sendinfokit.com to get your free information kit. Call now. I like to drive. I used to think I was a pretty good driver. But now Joe Biden's taken a sharp left turn. Buckle up for his $4 trillion tax hike. Biden's plan raises taxes on small business, reversing the recovery. He's pledged to eliminate blue-collar oil and gas jobs. And analysts estimate stocks would crash up to 25% if Biden takes the wheel, crushing your retirement. This is just bold. Hit the brakes on Biden. He'll wreck our economy. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Tonight, a private investigation is underway in Kenosha after a police officer shoots a black man. And Governor Evers responding after that shooting in Kenosha by calling for a special session on police accountability. We'll have the latest on News 3 Now at 5. Download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. No matter what the color of your skin is, we all have to be part of this. It is a time that we 
hear people out who are offering up solutions that can lead to change. We are spending a lot of time right now listening so we can better do our job, so we can better amplify your voices, tell your stories, and hopefully build a better tomorrow, a better city for all of us. 2020 may not just be the year that everything was canceled. It may end up being the most important year yet. Right now we have a lot of sunshine. Here's a live look with our Edgewater Skycam downtown. A few boats taking advantage of the heat today. Temperatures are currently in the upper 80s. We should be in the upper 70s for the end of August. And as we look at our Doppler track, you can see those thunderstorms right now uh, well north of I-90. Most of southern Wisconsin pretty quiet and dry, but that's the area that could see some strong to severe thunderstorms this evening as those storms sink southeast. There is a slight risk of severe weather stretching from the Twin Cities through Dane County and towards Milwaukee. Now much of that rain is going to stay northeast of us, but it is something we're going to keep an eye on throughout the evening. Alert days in the forecast for this evening, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures are going to stay hot. It's going to stay humid. Heat index readings likely close to 100 by Wednesday and Thursday. Those storm chances pass through tonight and then we're back to plenty of sunshine for the rest of the week. But Gary will have more on your forecast in just a bit with a 10 day. All right, Dana, thank you. Tomorrow here on Live Before, given all that's going on in the world, the stock market marches forward. We'll find out why from our resident economist. And Dr. Jeff Potoff from UW Health has all of the latest COVID-19 developments. That's tomorrow on Live at Four. These deals are amazing. I know. How do we get them? Okay, we have to be very subtle about asking like this. Like this? No, like this. Actually, you don't have to do any of that. We have great deals for everyone. Even without the... You would have gotten it anyway. Cool. If you've forgotten what a fair deal sounds like, let us remind you. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get $700 off the latest smartphones with no activation fee. U.S. Cellular. Upgrade to fair. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? With the Pick and Save app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales and rewards like fuel points, all for prices that are lower than the everyday low. So go ahead, get lower than low. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. What happens now? Now that the rent's due, but they've cut your pay. Now that the virus has cost lives, but your health care costs too much. Now that our president has had months, but he still doesn't have a plan. What happens now? Joe Biden knows how to lead through a crisis because he's done it before. When our economy was on the verge of collapse, Joe Biden led the largest economic stimulus in a generation and saved millions of jobs. Now Joe Biden is ready to lead us through this crisis. He knows rebuilding our economy starts with fighting the virus, increasing testing, getting more protective gear for healthcare workers, and calling for mass mandates nationwide. As president, he'll get working families back on their feet by lowering healthcare costs and helping small businesses recover. So what happens now? We elect a president who will build back better. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. services buy one air conditioner and get one gas furnace for only one thousand dollars bogos are back and it's a beautiful thing in today's final touch we leave you with some incredible images from 2020 formula the 2020 formula kite european championships despite the global pandemic 92 surfers from 19 countries took, took part the race started in the postal the Polish coastal town of Puck last Tuesday. The winner crossed the finish line yesterday. Athletes competed on hydrofoil kite boards, which will be used during the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, where kiteboarding will debut as a new discipline. A lot of time was spent on preparations to ensure that...